Hello viewers, welcome back to the Nova Bus Fan. And I think it's high time we visit our friend, Madame Rem. It's time for Rem update number four. We're going to the West Island this time. This is one of the parts of the network that I've been looking forward to the most uh, to seeing, at least as in its current state. Now I have seen it one other time before, but I wasn't filming at the time, unfortunately. I should have in hindsight. At this time, I had better lighting. I had a better uh, way to get there instead of by bus. I was with a friend who we were able to drive over there very safely, might I add, considering the current situation, uh, and uh, finally got some footage and a good look at what's been going on and what the progress is uh, over on the western branches uh, of the rim. And I did say branches because there are two. Uh, the first which is the main branch, the West Island branch itself, uh, going all the way to Anzalom uh, in saint anne de bellevue which is in the far west of the, uh, the island of Montreal, basically paralleling the current um, Boudre Hudson commuter train line. And the other branch is, well, the airport branch. Montreal's been wanting a, or rather they've been needing a rapid transit connection to the airport, uh, Pierre Elliott Trudeau International Airport, or YUL, forever, since it's been there basically. And while the commuter train line runs relatively close to it, the Boudre Hudson line, there's no direct connection and it's, again, it's not the same thing. It's not, it's not at all on the same level of, of connectivity. This will also be, quite interestingly, the second point on the REM where the train goes underground after the Mount Royal Tunnel, of course, um, where it'll basically dip underground right after, not, not too long after, uh, its junction point with the western branch uh, around Highway 40, Boulevard Hymas, uh, that area in Saint Laurent, in Ville Saint Laurent. Uh, and it will be dipping underground for two stops, the Marie Curie station and the airport station. Interesting little bit of history for people who might not have known is that the space where the REM station will be at the airport, it was actually already intended for a train uh, many years ago, many decades ago, when they built the terminal because they planned to connect downtown Montreal to YUL and also to the Mirabel Airport north of the city which of course is now defunct um, which was built with a lot of anticipation and hope for uh, uh, increased capacity and unfortunately that never came. So yeah in some way this is the spiritual successor to that project. Uh, of course back then they had actually considered a high-speed rail for this to connect Mirabel and Dorval considering they're about by car normally they're about an hour to an hour and a half apart so uh, this would have been quite an interesting project uh, way back when, but I'm glad that it's in its current form because in theory it's actually a bit more of a connectivity boost considering it connects to a much greater network. So on to some more historical facts about these branches. and. Even though they're brand new and all, they do have some roots in history. Uh, mainly the connection point that they share to the uh, Dermaltang portion of the line uh, is actually what used to be the CN Donny Spur. So a CN right of way used to take off from the Dermaltang line, uh, accessing Ville Saint Laurent and, that, and the industrial park around there, probably for local operations and such. But it was one of the first parts of the project to start was to to prepare the Donny Spur for for uh, conversion. Uh, which makes this technically the second defunct, I guess you could say, traditional rail line on the REM network that's being converted. So talking about going to actually see it, as you've seen or, or are seeing with the footage that I got, of course the West Island branch parallels Auto Route 40 for a good portion of it. Uh, you can see a good part of it starting to come up around Fairview at this point, um, specifically around Fairview. In fact, that's about where it starts to, to, to grow from the ground uh, and it goes all the way to, I think, about Blue Ball St. Marie in uh, the town of Kirkland on the West Island uh, and it's it's just really cool you just see it slowly climbing up from from in steps and then up to its uh, running height per se uh, and actually crossing over other overpasses which is pretty uh, pretty interesting to see that's gonna be really cool to see when it's open I'm looking forward to that it's just like layers and it's it's very interesting uh, very neat to see that uh, being developed as it is so before we wrap this up I just wanted to mention two stations that I find to be kind of notable uh, in these uh, in these two branches, two in particular. Uh, one, of course, uh, is the Fairview station, which uh, uh, will be in proximity to the aptly named uh, Fairview Point Claire Shopping Centre, very much a hub of, of economic and uh, consumer activity and all that, uh, and just a gathering place for a lot of people. Uh, also, the location just about to the Fairview terminus, bus terminal, uh, which will be moved 
to the rem site uh, once the station is ready uh, and well that will create a quite the hub of public transportation for the West Island. And the second station I want to mention is the Marie Curie station on the airport branch, the only other station on the airport branch actually. Uh, I believe it's a station located in a somewhat industrial estate uh, just beyond the, the land of Pierre Elliott Trudeau Airport. Uh, and the reason why it interests me is for its name. Uh, Marie Curie was a Polish-born French physicist who discovered radioactivity uh, back in the early 1900s. Uh, and in fact, she won two Nobel Prizes uh, for her discoveries and her work. Uh, the 1903 Prize for Physics and the 1911 Prize for Chemistry. Uh, and that's just really cool. I find that's just a, it's just a small honor in the, a small drop in, in honoring her and, and her work. I just find it very fascinating uh, when it comes to honoring people with, with names of stations and, and the reasons behind it. Uh, and while she was never, she, she's not a Montreal or a Canadian even, I think honoring her is a very good idea. And uh, just another, another tip uh, in the hat, I guess, uh, another feather in the hat for her uh, when it comes to honors uh, around the world for her. And, different monuments and, and statues and now a rapid transit station. Who knew? Well, Madame Rem, we've covered you for today. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Um, just lots of exciting stuff coming along with the with this project. I'm looking forward to covering it in more detail. There's still a little bit more of the current system to cover as it is right now, uh, going a bit further north uh, towards the Dermal Tank, the end of the Dermal Tank portion. Uh, as well as the rest of the Dermal Tang line that's open right now until next year when it does close. I do want to cover that and, and get, some, get some action there before we say goodbye to the current Dermal Tang line as it is right now. So that's part of, that's definitely in the cards coming soon. As well as some other content uh, ideas that I'm definitely getting uh, not only on my own but also from you guys who I've seen a lot of your suggestions in the comments lately which uh, definitely gives me something to, to, to think about and definitely something to consider for future videos. So thanks so much for your suggestions, your commentary, your discussions, your, your questions, all that stuff. It really is appreciated and uh, I can't wait to put that uh, to good use uh, in future content. With that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, get subscribed if you haven't already. Get notified as well uh, to not miss another one of these videos, to miss, not miss my community posts which are uh, up in frequency lately, especially when it comes to like Q&A's and, and of course uploads and all that stuff. So uh, definitely check that out. Social media links are below as well. And of course my coffee page if you do feel inclined to support me a bit more directly in the content I make uh, and making more of it, making more high quality content. All that's very appreciated. You can find that in the description below. Well, that's about it. So thanks a lot guys. Hope to see you guys somewhere down the line and uh, hope you have a great day. Cheers.